My name's Johnny. How's it going, Joker fam? It's White Haha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at it again. Another bad baby for you guys. And today, as you guys know, Legends are officially out. And of course, we got another addition to No Fly Zone. As you guys can see in our top players, we got that boy Jack the Assassin Tatum. Now, for those of you that have been rocking with me for a little bit, some of you guys would. Remember, I'm not gonna be able to find a clip because it, it happened. I forgot which matter it was, so I wouldn't be able to find the clip. But if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Jack Tatum sold me something decent and in a video or a stream, something. It, it was bad. Like, to win a game type bat, like it was really bad. Had an X Factor on and everything. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys know what I'm talking about. But either way, man, this year, height is not going to be so outlandishly overbearing in this game. You know what I'm saying? Height is, it has its role. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna be going for picks and stuff like that, if you're the type of person I wanna click on and go for picks, Height is going to definitely be something you want to gravitate towards. But if you're more comfortable with, you know, clicking on and maybe going for swats and stuff like that, or just letting the CPU break the ball up in general, that could also be a pathway to go. But let's go ahead, jump into Jack's stats. And of course, if you guys can't play. So before we get into his stats, if you guys enjoy videos like this, man, if you guys enjoy theme team gameplay, especially Raiders theme team gameplay, make sure you guys drop some likes on that like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. It's free. It takes one second. And also, you guys can comment down below, Raider Gang, Raider Nation, whatever you guys want to comment, man. It helps push the algorithm, helps get the video out to more people. But with that being said, Jack Tatum comes in at 5'10", 96 speed, 92 acceleration, 87 tackle, 91 play rec, 87 pursuit, 90 man coverage, 95 zone coverage with a 95 hit power. Now, I would say the biggest thing with this card, obviously, the height, it just is what it is, at 5'10". But... Here's the other thing that I do like about this Jack Tatum, and I think he will be the pickup with no no issues. You know what I'm I think he will be a must-have on your team. Is on the fact that he gets deep in and deep out zone knockouts for two and one AP. So, real quick, just to show you guys what I'm talking about. You guys go over to his last box. You guys can see his pick guards for one, deep in zone knockout for one, and deep zone knockout for two. Now. The only other safety that has this is Isaiah Pacheco. He's the only other safety that has it, and he's a strong safety. Now, with how our safeties are now, right, between having Ronnie Lott and having Bo Jackson now, and they, well, Ronnie Lott doesn't get anything for discounted, but keeping him on deep end since he's already gonna be playing our inside third for our cover four, we're actually gonna be putting Jack Tatum at a corner spot which is going to be replacing DRC. Now, obviously, DRC is still going to be on the team, but just in-game-wise, that's where he's going to be. Now, once again, at our cover four, DRC is that boundary corner. He's going to be playing that deep zone, or if we want to change up our, you know, whatever we want to do for our zones, we typically put our outside corners into cloud flex that are at 30 which obviously deep out zone is going to be absolutely perfect for that because it's already outside the numbers and it's to the sideline so that's exactly what we want to have for sure so obviously we are going to keep bo jackson we went ahead and put ronnie lott he does have secondary chem strong safety so you can still utilize him and also keep marcus epps with his times two raiders so keep that in mind guys and as you guys can see just to show it off we are still 50 out of 50 on raider um on raider kim um, once again, just a little overlook the biggest changes we made as far as fillers would definitely be David Bontiari and Jalen Carter both having two inside stuffs for 1AP. And we also picked up Andrew Luck. I went ahead and moved on from, I was rocking Vic for a little bit, but once again, Vic is just one of those players that I feel like I don't utilize enough of what he's good at. You know what I'm saying? The escape artist, the speed, and he had a, I just don't, I don't use it enough. You know what I'm saying? So Andrew Luck's perfect for me, man. Our quarterbacks like Andrew Luck that have great throwing stats. And the speed is, you know, it's not very slow. It's not obviously the fastest. It's somewhere in the middle. You know what I'm saying? So that's all we really need right now. 
And that's it. Those are the only changes we have on offense and defense. But with all that being said, man, Jack the Assassin Tatum, new addition to No Fly Zone, man. I think this time around, he should be good. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, his height is going to play a factor here and there, but you can still do well with five foot ten, five foot nine safeties and still get the job done. Let's just hopefully we can get that job done in this video. Alright? See y'all boys in there. Alright, Joker Fam. So find ourselves a game. Randy Moss for his Buckner and Aiden Hutchinson. Okay, that's a nice little D-line. And that guard Raider boys right there. So let's get into it. All right, Joker Fam. So, starting on no fly zone, man. As you guys can see, Jack Tatum is to the left side of the screen, and he is at our corner spot. He will be playing, like I already said, that um, not the third, but um, Cloud Flat. That's on thirty. And this is why we got the fillers in, bro. Maximize that D line. Jesus. All right, so we're on offense, man. Got into a lot of third down conversions, man. We gave, I mean, we gave up a lot of third down conversions, so we just got to do better on that. Oh, pressing? I wouldn't think that's a good idea, but I guess it was. Is DHB not faster? Maybe I'm tripping. Nah, he's definitely faster. I don't know what's going on with that last play. It looked like he was sticking with him. All right, so back on no fly zone. I know what he's going to be targeting a little bit. So um, our RPOs. Here, here's the thing, man. And it, this is so frustrating and needs to get fixed. They really need to change inside stuff on RPOs. Thank you. Like, like it, it really should just be just broken up every single time. Like, I, I don't understand. Okay, Jack, we'll take that. I'll take that. Hot Let's go. So hot it's fine. I still got it. It didn't matter. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, let's go. Got him. Let's get it, baby. I ain't called no fly zone for no reason. Let's get it. Easy. Come on. I like that. All right, hey, back on no fly zone. Go ahead, do what we gotta do. Put the nail in the coffin. I think he was going to throw me a pick. Why is that not broken up? What? What? What the fuck? Jesus, man. All right, let's close out the first half, man. Very disappointed, bro, simply because we've had too many opportunities for breakups, picks, and just didn't get them. You don't stop pressing me, dog. You just really just need to stop pressing me. All right, Joker so second half, man. Let's go ahead and do what we gotta do. Or continue doing what we've been doing, essentially. How, what? So he gets a breakup on that, but I can't get the breakup with an ability on that's proking? Cover two. Let's see what he does. Yep. All right, back on the fly zone. Went ahead and took my three just because I'm um, not trying to force something I don't need to. And. Once again, if this guy is getting breakups without abilities like that, I just, you know what I'm saying? I just don't like how the game's flowing and stuff. So I'll just take my points. Let's go ahead, lock up on defense. Let's 
That's on me, because I thought I put the cloud up, but I, I obviously didn't. This could be a RPO. So we're going to go ahead and just play like that. Let's go. I'll take it. Let's get it. All right, let's see. We can dot up here. <clears throat> of course not. I, I hate that so much. That's okay. That's okay. Don't know how you got beat over it. Why are you celebrating? I don't. I hate when people do dumb stuff, bro. I joke around. Back on offense, man. We just got to do what we need to do, man. That, that's really about it. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. Good block, Moss. Fuck off me. That's how you celebrate. Because I still got the lead. You know what I'm saying? I can celebrate. Okay. Well, GG's, I guess. All right, Joker Fat. So, find ourselves another game. We have our Raider boys right there. We got Moss, Harold Carmichael, and uh, Season Pass, Michael Vick. Man. All right, Joker Fat. So, starting out on No Fly Zone, I'm not going to sit here and tell y'all how this game should go. Because we know how we know how EA gets sometimes. But, I'm going to tell y'all that there's a good chance this could be a quick one. You know what I'm saying? It, it really should be a quick one. Yeah, it's gonna be a quick one for sure. All right, so going for it. I respect it. Jack Tatum <laughs> going for the gameplay, baby. Let's get it. Give me one for the gameplay, dog. Need it. Looking like man coverage here. And I it was man coverage. Oh, uh, that's on me. I, I should have just went to the comeback route. Or put up a wheel route. Like, I saw the user go out there. I thought I could get it out there quick enough. I messed that up. It is what it is, though. Mmm. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Shout outs to pick artists. Shout outs to pick artists. Come on now. All right, let's not make the same mistake twice. You know what I'm saying? Let's come back route, wheel route. Got to take one of these. It's really just that simple. Like, I'm really just out here doing too much. I'm doing way too much. I'm not like. All right, I can't believe I threw that pick, bro. I couldn't get the spy off. I'm going to pay for it, aren't I? No, I won't. Let's go. Give me that stupid. Let's go. Let's have some fun. Some real fun. Yeah, because he's running RPOs. You know what I'm saying? Why, why shouldn't I? I'm saying everybody loves running RPOs, it seems. I gotta, you know, get into and run some RPOs also. Yeah, this is fun. Real innovative gameplay. I love it, man. This is... I'm having fun. Genuinely having fun. Yeah. Can't remember the first time I've had this much fun in a Madden game. Yeah, couldn't remember. All right. Back on no fly zone. Hey, no in the coffin time. Jack Tatum. Come on, man. You got 90 man coverage, bro. Lock in. Oh, 
Oh man. Now I'm gonna put a spy up this time. Good pick, lie. Now on the coffin, baby. Can I? All right, well, we'll take it. There it is. I already knew it, bro. I knew what time it was. Let's go, GG's. So, Joker Fan, that's gonna be in the gameplay, man. Honestly, Jack Tatum did it for the gameplay. We got a pick with him. Very happy about it. Honestly, I don't have a problem with him being five foot ten this year. Obviously, in past years, it was an issue, but you guys let me know in the comment section below how do you guys feel about it. Is his height going to determine whether or not you pick him up? Me personally, I don't think it does. He's, like I said already, he's one of the few um, DBs that gets deep zone, deep out zone knockout for 2 AP, and he also gets deep end zone. So you can put him in a multitude of places if you want to, and he'll ball out for you. You know what I'm saying? He'll get breakups, and obviously, he'll get your picks. You know what I mean? But... Once again, you guys let me know in the comment section below do you guys think he's worth the pick up. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, man. If so, make sure you guys drop some likes on that like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. It's free. It only takes one second. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right? Peace.